Now I'm just working with you for a lecture. Here in Paris, we have next, we have the first match on the 6th. Starke Männer, zwei Halbfeuermänner, jetzt ist langsam Zeit. Auch mit den Gesetzschriften, die sind los und weiter. The Ladies! So, ladies and gentlemen, this next match will determine the number one contender for the SWE Ladies Championship. The first competitor coming out of England, we have the amazing grace, Sadie Gibbs. I'm not sure if that's her singing. If it is, I'd be very impressed. Yes, yes. In her leather vest. She was determined, psyched, ready to take apart her opponent. It's clear a nice path for the SWE Ladies Championship. That belt being currently held by champion Aubrey Pride. She is not here tonight. But you can bet that she is watching this match, or she will be watching this match, studying both opponents to see what she needs to do against her future opponent for the championship. There she is, the amazing Grace Sadie Gibbs, waiting for her opponent. Manchester, England. Lana Austin, ladies and gentlemen. Both competitors very well liked here in Holton, in SWE. Ladies, Jake, it's always the ladies. That's right. So the winner of this match will face the current champion, Bobby Bright, for the SWE Ladies Championship in the future. There's, it's not a number one contenders match. I checked that before with SW. It's just a ladies match, so we have a ladies match on the card. But it's most likely that the winner of this match, or the other, is going to face Audrey Bright in the future. Well, you can but I cannot confirm it. Well, Audrey Bright is not here tonight, but you can bet that she's watching this match to see what she may be up against. But the winner of this match will definitely challenge her for the belt. Of course, yes, definitely challenger. We have a great view now. Actually, you're all online uh, seeing the match posters it's right. funny how they look awesome in the internet and you see them up close and they're different it's the same with you and me Jake even more it's the same awesome. with me even more awesome <laughs> okay there's the bell well, well, Austin of course she had wrestled for the SWU yes. championship in the past she, she was one of the first picks of our former CEO and this is our first look at um, Sadie Gibbs Nice side headlock takedown. She took her down with such a crispness that just makes her bone chill. Sadie Gibbs all business in there. Lana Austin going, trying to go for a head scissors to try to escape the side headlock, and she's successful. Nice head scissors by Lana Austin. Sadie Gibbs escapes using her power. Sadie she is powerful, all right. Sadie has the power advantage, definitely. But Lana Austin. Who do you think has the advantage? Well, Sadie Gibbs has the height advantage here. She looks a bit stronger, but Sadie, I mean, um, Len Austin, is a bit quicker, so just kind of... It's blonde versus black. That's what? right, and now look at this. And who would you prefer as a hair color, of course? Oh, I don't know. Hair is hair. Nice right. nip up by Lana Austin. 
in the dark. Reversals to his hair. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm sorry. Let's, let's concentrate on the match. Nice roll through by Sadie Gibbs, trying to nip up. She's trying, she's trying three times, three but she did ups. it. She did it. Look at that, and the fans like that. So far, these two put what, it on a wrestling clinic. But it's not that she didn't make it, it's just that you can show off, right? She showed off. Right. Nice flip through from the arm ringer, and now Lana Austin regains the advantage. Sadie Gibbs. Oh, with the forearm shiver to the jaw of Lena Austin. Nice roll through, one, two, two count only. Lena Austin almost got a surprise three count there on her larger opponent. Going for a backslide, one, two. A little history, the only time a backslide has actually resulted in a pinfall was in 1984 when Kerry Von Erich pinned Ric Flair for the NWA Championship. Yes, and Kerry was in no shape to wrestle, That's so right. they had to find a solution. Anyways, here's nice another near fall. And then Austin, two count over. And again, nice single down, big by Atlanta Austin. and near fall One, again. Two. Two count over. Dang, Atlanta Austin is shown more fire and determination than the last time we saw her. I think it has something to do with her coming that close to winning the championship and falling short, and she hasn't forgotten that. She is much more vicious, much more determined, much more aware of, where, of what her opponent's doing, as you can see right there. Beautiful snapmare takedown by Lana Austin. Showing off her arse, as you say, in the face of C. Gibbs. She's not gonna like that. Assolicious, I call it. Probably. I have that from a DVD, to, uh, never mind. Anyways, here is uh, Lana Austin, is the fan favorite of the two. Let's see how Sadie Gibbs reacts. How she responds. Oh, look at this hair pulling. Ziggy doing the right thing. Oh, as Sadie Gibbs just drapes Lana Austin's arm on the top rope, and now Lana Austin's in trouble. Her left arm, her shoulder, is in severe pain. And now both ladies outside the ring. Sadie Gibbs ramming Lana Austin's head into that ring apron. We're gonna have a double count out here. That's not what the fans want to see. They want to see a winner here. They want to see a winner, yes. We already had a double count in the pre-show, as you might remember, double count out. That's right. So, actually, we do know now, uh, we know now who's going to face the Nacho Libras. Oh, we do. It's two of these Rat Pack guys. That's right, but which and it's two? Not, and that's not Bones, of, I guess. Because now there's four of them. Yes, I so, figured that. So, which, so which two uh, Rat Packs are going to... You're not happy of Pascal turning, no, right? No, I am not happy about that at all, but we'll discuss that later. But right now we have Lana Austin trying to fight back, and she is. Outside the ring, ladies and gentlemen. Fighting back with an injured limb. We're going to have a double count out. And look at this, as Sadie Gibbs throws her opponent back into the ring, risking a count out. And now she's returning to stumps. Manchester's own Atlanta Austin. Manchester, of course, the home of the British Bulldogs. True. And um, she told me today, when she arrived from the airport, that it's her first match this year outside of good old England. And of course, we want to say hello to our British fans listening right now to SW. Thank you so much for joining us. Sadie Gibbs has that swag right now. She is just working over her opponent. She knows she has her right where she wants her. She can pin her when she's good and ready. Of course, that may come to haunt her. Once you have your opponent in trouble, you should go for the cover right away. Don't give her a chance to come back. Which is not what she's doing right now. Nice stand there, takeover. And a kick to the spine by Sadie Gibbs. Lana Austin's hurt. And a second one. That hurt. That really did hurt. I think Lana's on the descending part as she's not coming back from that, that fast. Lana 
Austin trying to push Austin's him. Trying. He's trying to, it's like the crowd has awoken. And look at that, she's going right back to the shoulder. Set, tight headlock, and now she's going for the submission. She's going to hyperextend that arm right now. That's exactly what you do. Once you have a part, once you weakened it, you keep working on it until you get a submission. That's exactly what Sadie Gibbs is doing. That's old Minnesota Wrecking Crew psychology, ladies and gentlemen. You pick a body part and you work on it until your opponent can't take anymore. And now she has that left arm in the key lock, bending the wrist backwards, so she wants to break her hand as well as her arm. She might get a submission right now. It looks very uncomfortable, nice but she gets out and she... School core roll up by Lana Austin. And, and now she fights back. She has the adrenaline is kicked in. Look at this. And now hits her on the chest. One, two, three, and then, oh, oh. goodness. And Sadie Gibbs just cut that combat. Sadie Gibbs is, is damn powerful. Picks her up. Firewoman's carry. Oh, goodness. Oh. Went for a press slam. One, two. She tried to do that press slam, yes, yeah. but somehow, you know, the you know, warrior. I Exactly. Well, I know. I I I, I, try, I used to do that press slam as well, but with, with with kids. Right. But you know, if they're sweaty and everything, it's pretty hard to keep them up. So if you, I think, when, when you do it in training, you're all okay. But in the middle of the match, you're sweaty, and the atmosphere and everything makes it hard to keep that person up there. Right. Now a body slam and oh, a double knee to the stomach by Sadie Gibbs. A moonsault double knee. Never seen that before. I've One. Never seen that either. Two. Two count only, but that should have been the end. But that hey. should have been the end right now. Atlantic Austin really showing some heart here. Right now she's thinking survival. She just wants to survive this match. She's had knees driven to her stomach. She's had kicks in the spine, in the kidneys. She might just want to tell the referee to stop the match after all the punishment she's been given. I guess not. Sadie Gibbs putting her opponent on the top rope. Looks like we're going to see a, a belly to back superplex from the top rope, maybe? Goodness, that would oh, be, no. be awesome. Nah, no, she's holding tight. She's holding tight. Lana Austin holding for dear life. That would be the finishing maneuver for sure. But now she can actually oh, get her nice. off. Stiff elbow. Lana Austin getting off the top rope. Back to the safety of the mat. Both women slow to get back on their feet. Sadie Gibbs went for a kick. Lana Austin caught her foot and she kicks her in the shoulder. In the face. It looked like in the face, but it could be the shoulder. Yes, and now. Lana misses. Austin missing with the clothesline. But she turns around and she connects with that one. And a third clothesline. So you miss with the clothesline, doesn't know where she is. Beautiful neck breaker with help from the hair. Lana goes for the cover. One, two. She had to count the only. I thought that was it. She looked like she had the momentum on her side, but now she needs to back up. Lana Austin. Otherwise, in. otherwise Sadie Gibbs will have recovered. That's right. It looks like she's going for a DDT of some sort. Sadie Gibbs escapes it. Goes for a power bomb. Oh, oh power this bomb! Is power bomb! Forget about it. That's, that's gotta it. be it. That might be it. One, two, three. The way she drove her down reminded me of what Again. Vader used to do. How he used to drive his opponents down with his power bomb. Yes. I remember Sid Vicious doing it, but forgetting about the cage. Yeah. <laughs> And then poor old Brian Pillman got rammed into it. And there's another cover, two count only. And now, oh, there the armbar! There's the armbar! Arm we got a submission! We got a submission! Oh, we are gonna have a submission. If only, if, if the only Ronda would know that. <laughs> Atlanta Austin needs to reach the ropes. That's all she has that can save her right now. She's close to the ropes. If she can get her foot or her hand on the rope, we might have a tap out. And she does. Goodness, she's so flexible. She reaches the ropes and Sadie Gibbs had to break the hold. We almost had a submission. That That's course. a pretty damn good um, ladies match. It's actually it's yeah. a person match. We don't have to, uh, you know. I'll tell you, Lana Austin, she's had her arm worked on, her kidneys. Her, and she's still fighting back in a headbutt. Uh -huh. 
right to the chest. That's what we do in England. <laughs> and there's a DDT. Beautiful swinging DDT right now. That could be and it. One, one two, two, and that's it. Right of Austin with the victory, ladies and gentlemen. A hard fought victory for Lana Austin. Her shoulder is killing her. But that DDT out of nowhere takes her opponent down and out for the count. Let's get the official word. Or not. Here's your winner. Lana Austin coming out on top, and you can be sure that she will challenge the current SWE Ladies Champion, Aubrey Bride, in the very near future. A well-deserved victory for Lana Austin, Sadie Gibbs took it to her opponent, gave her her best shots, and she still came up short. But what a performance she put on for the fans here. And her debut in SWE. Thank you so much for joining us. And we hope to see her again.